A man picks up a piece of sushi with his chopsticks, but accidentally drops it into a glass of wine. His son and wife laugh at him for not being able to pick up a piece of food, but the man senses that something is wrong. Early the next morning, the man finds his shoelaces untied, but when he tied his shoe, he suddenly couldn't get his fingers to work. By midday, the man could no longer stand up. Even speaking was difficult, realizing the seriousness of the problem. His pregnant wife takes him to hospital to comfort himself. The man repeatedly emphasizes to the doctor. He had always been in good health. He had never been sick. The doctor asked him to try to move his fingers, but he has trouble doing this simple action. The man felt a little uneasy. Soon the test results came back. The doctor told them. The man had a rare form of neurological multiple sclerosis. At first there was only a slight movement disorder. As time goes on, they would gradually lose the ability to move, sight and hearing, and even paralysis. The cruelest part of the disease is that there is no effective medicine for it. The man accuses the doctor half-heartedly. Then he got up and left. In the face of this bolt from the blue, the wife was overwhelmed and in tears. The next morning, the man came to work as usual, but when it was time for him to speak, suddenly his eyes went dark. The corners of his mouth went out of control. He fell straight to the floor. He had to admit that he was really sick. He was afraid that he would never see his wife again. He couldn't see the baby he was about to give birth to. He fought back his tears. He didn't want to drag the family down. His wife encouraged him not to give up. He would get better. Soon the man joined the rehabilitation program, looking at each patient. He sees himself in the future. One negative patient told him, get used to it and you'll be fine, no matter how hard we try. In the end we can't even walk 100 meters. The man with a glimmer of hope plunged into a ravine. When he returned home, he locked himself in his room and didn't want to see anyone. He lost hope in life. Looking at his negative husband, his wife was reduced to tears every day. Until the day she went into labor, he wouldn't come out of his room, holding his newborn child. The man suddenly had a glimmer of hope. He couldn't give up on himself like that. A hundred meters is not so far. He musters the courage to sneak out into the street alone. But the reality is so cruel. He stood still, unable to move. Luckily, his wife arrived just in time. That day he overlooked a poster on the wall. Iron Man. Swim 38 kilometers. Cycling 180 kilometers. Run 42 kilometers. He wanted to take on the impossible. His wife told his father about Ramon's idea. To his surprise, not only did his father not object, he offered to be his son-in-law's coach. The training began. His father-in-law first asked Ramon to dig vegetables with his bare hands. Then he turned the ground over with a hoe. The more Ramon thought about it, the more angry he became. This is not training. It was a trick to help him with his farm work. But Ramon did it anyway. Now it was time to run. But then his father-in-law blindfolded him. He asked him to guess what was in the bag. But Ramon didn't guess anything correctly. But his father-in-law didn't blame him. He continued to let him touch the tires, walking in a straight line in the sand. Ramon couldn't figure out what this had to do with running. Until this day, he found his father-in-law's trophy in the box. It turned out that his father-in-law had been a leading sportsman when he was young. And that gave Ramon more confidence. When he was actually running, Ramon was feeling. Hoeing was practicing his grip strength. Guessing was a tactile exercise. Walking in a straight line on the beach is forging his balance. Understanding this, Ram trained harder. But that day an accident happened. His muscular sclerosis flared up again. He loses feeling in both legs. Half of his body is paralyzed. It was even worse than before. All his efforts were undone. But his father-in-law encourages him. You can do it. After several months of rehabilitation, Ramon was on his feet again. With his father-in-law as his training partner, he finally broke 100 meters, swimming in a swimming pool, running on the beach, riding through the fields. He wanted to challenge himself. Soon a year has passed. Ram was finally on the Ironman course. His father-in-law told him, it's not your choice to give up. The next challenge was to complete it all in 17 hours. Swim 38 kilometers, cycling 180 kilometers, marathon 42 kilometers. The race is on. The participants are getting into the water. Ramon is not like the other runners. What worries him most is whether his sclerosis would suddenly come back. It was tough, but all went well. The next 180 kilometers of cycling, Ramon's strength was beginning to fail him, but he didn't give up. He finished the race by the skin of his teeth. Now only 42 kilometers of the marathon remained, with every minute ticking away. Some runners are giving up, but Ramon kept on going. He won't give in to the odds. He will overcome the impossible. From daylight to dusk, Ramon is the only one left on the road. He still keeps on going. His wife, who was waiting at the finish line, was getting worried, watching the runners reach the finish line. But Ramon was nowhere to be seen. At that moment, the organizers started to pack up their things. His father-in-law, seeing that there were nine minutes left, went to argue. The organizers replied. He'd probably given up by now, with less than four minutes left on the clock. The wife bowed her head. Maybe the husband had really given up. And that's when, Ram appeared at the end of the track. He didn't give up. 
He kept on going. The wife was so excited and happy. He ran up to help Ram. This is a story based on a true event. In the years that followed, Ramon completed an Ironman triathlon, four marathons, eight Olympic triathlons, five half Ironman races, 16 half marathons. In three years he has not had a single relapse. How many people in the world? How many people have developed multiple sclerosis? He chose to compromise. He chose to fall. But Ramon chose to be born again, not to try. You never know how much potential you have.